Ooh, what's up, everybody? My name is JJ for Life, and today we're back. It's been a hot minute since we've recorded. We're going to play some MLB Power Pros, as you see in the title. Uh, this game mode called Success, Success Mode. I don't... I don't think I'll get copyrighted for this. I used to play this game a lot as a kid. And by play it a lot, I mean I used to only play success mode. I didn't really care about the rest of the game. <laughs> and I still don't. Uh, but yeah, there's this mode, success mode. I'm just gonna like try to do a quick summary of it. Uh, basically, you're a kid in college with the dream of getting into the major league. That's basically what it is. And you go through... Your first three years of college, uh, trying to do good enough to impress the coach. And if you do good enough, you get put in college. So, I don't know if I'm going to do a full playthrough. I guess that's really up to y'all or not. But, we will be playing it today. And I hope you guys let me know how you enjoy it. Um, I did one playthrough, like, a week or two ago. Just to see if I still liked it. And I still do. So we're gonna do a quick playthrough of it. Uh, I name myself JJ. Uh, no, I got a name. I got a name. I got a name. We're gonna name ourself J. Wyatt. J. Kid. Boom. And our nickname would just be JJ. Boom, okay. We're black. Uh, we're right handed. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I've never done catcher before. I'm gonna do third baseman. I'm gonna do third baseman. Uh, ooh, I like the boom. Okay. Oh, it actually shows the way it swings. Okay. You gotta see how all the swings are. Um, I like the shaking the bat. Only one of them shakes the bat though. Closed. It shakes the bat. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that one. Ink. Yeah, beautiful form. Uh, we get to upgrade our character as we go along. Um, manual. Uh, my favorite baseball team is the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, I guess I should say, um, before we get really far into this video, I know we're already three minutes in. Um, this kind of do depends on if you if your team does good or not. But we won't be playing too much baseball. It'll be more like visual novelty, and I like that. So we're gonna play that. Um, if you guys don't enjoy that, but you do want to see like a, a actual baseball game, I can do one. I wouldn't mind trying one out. Uh, we're not gonna do short code mode because um, I think you get that for being the game once. And I as I said earlier, I beat the game earlier a couple weeks ago just to test it. Uh, but we're just gonna start it. Come on, get up already. Huh? Ah, I had a chance for a walk-off. No time to be sleeping. Get up already. Hmm? Who are you? Come on, you have to ask. It's a me, Marvin. The future ma major league icon. And I was just getting to the good part. That's not my problem. Today's the day to sign up for the baseball team. If we don't hurry up, we're going to be late. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Today I start my college baseball career. Just one more step towards the big leagues. Yeah, that's great. I'll see you over there. Hey, wait up. So yeah, this game is a lot of reading. Uh, I don't really know why I wanted to record it, but I do. So I'm going to. <sighs> Finally made it. So this is the Tulips field. It's pretty close to the school. So this is where the prestigious team plays. It seems like such an old and rundown field, but I can feel a profound history here. Who are you? I'm Alvin Lockhart. If you two are here to join the team, 
then we'll be working to make it to the majors together. You're looking to make it to the majors too? That I am. I also ought to be joining the team. Is this team really that famous? Hey, that won't matter if you don't turn your application form sometime. He's right. The clubhouse is right in front of you. Thanks. Hurry, right, Marvin. Roger that, Chief. Hey, fresh faces. You must be newcomers. The name is JJ. I want to join the team. And I'm Marvin. Ditto. Oh, okay. I'm Toby Baker. The team's ace pitcher, leading hitter, and overall top dog. Wow, it's an honor to meet you. You know, ordinarily I'd show people the door if they can't even show up on time. But I'll make an exception for you just this once. Be thankful. Yes, sir. When if they put you in charge, Toby? Yikes! Captain! Welcome to the Tulips. <laughs> the Tulips. I'm Robert, captain of the team. You can call me Robbie. Good to be here. You mean Toby's not captain? Jeez. Get along with this guy. Finished introductions earlier, but let's get you acquainted with everybody. Thank you. We'll start with the first with the other first years. Peter, you go first. Sure, I'm Peter White. I'm into health and fitness. That's because I want to be a doctor someday. But look at my eyes. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. And this is Boris Milton. Hi Milton. Nice to meet you. Um, I well, uh, you know, um, yeah. Uh, could you run that by me again? Well, Milton's a little shy, but I'm sure he'll be fine once he gets used to you. Okay. That's it for the new recruits. You don't want to forget me. Oh, it's him again. Who are you supposed to be again? I'm Alvin Lockhart. My apologies, I'm a new recruit. I'm late. Boy, he's late after that little speech before. I plan to use this opportunity to become the top player in college ball. And use it as a jumpy point into the major leagues. Looking forward to playing with you. Uh, okay then. Well, that's real funny, that major league thing. I was I was being serious. All right, all right. I guess it's good to set your sights high. <laughs> now, let's move on to the second year players. No names. And uh, Toby Baker. Welcome to the Tulips. We're counting on you guys. The Tulips needs you. Uh, why you gotta say something like that? <laughs> Yours truly doesn't have to count on them one bit. Um, but um, but um, but um. I wouldn't say this team was prestigious, but almost everyone seems really nice. Not what I would have pictured. And that does it for introductions. What about the coach? Actually, we haven't had one for years. Oh, don't worry, we're looking. We post the flyers around town. Someone will come. <laughs> You're still looking for a coach? You brought the toads all the way without a coach? You guys must be really good. You think so? Ah, this guy gets it. Oh, right. Baseball season starts in February. We mostly just mess around until then, so come practice if you feel like it. All right. Dismissed. Okay. Are you sure we're going to be all right, Chief? Well, what do you mean? Well, like, there's no coach, and... Ah, uh, no sweat. You heard Alvin, right? The team really is just that good. Just keep your eyes on the majors and give it everything you got. Sure thing, Chief. All right, so uh, there's still more uh, tutorial probably stuff going on or introduction stuff, but like, yeah, this is heavy, uh, very heavily uh, text-based. Uh, from year one now into year three, May, uh, we can choose between practicing, uh, resting when our vitality is low, which is that blue bar. Uh, studying to raise our intelligence which, and also to like unlock some perks and also if you don't pass your exams and you fail and you lose early so we don't want to do that so we will be studying um if you train then you get points and you can improve your attributes with uh this thing actually Try to get some good stats. Uh, obviously there's system settings, you know, stuff that y'all don't really care about. That I don't really care about. This stuff too. I don't really know what this is. Let's see. Personal data. Is there anything I can look at that like is useful? I don't think so. 
Uh, there's fake cards right there. Uh, we'll get more into that later. But as you see, there's four stats. There's ladies man, money man, and bookworm. Bookworm is what you get for studying. Money man is what you get for working, which will be unlocked later. And ladies man is what you get for hanging out with, for having certain events happen or hanging out with females, which will also be explained when we get there. Um, I think that's about it early on. Uh, there's items. Got the use to recover vitality. Oh, the controller's being wacky. Rookie's charm. When batting is on lock on, base running and fielding are on auto. I usually always keep this, but I think for this playthrough, whenever I get a chance to, I'm going to turn it off. Oh, I can discard it, but I'm going to sell it when we get a store. And obviously, we don't have any gear to equip. We just have the basics right now. Off with studying though. Just because like as you study, your bookworm rating increases. As your book as your bookworm rating increases, you'll pass tests more easily. Your baseball practice will be more effective. Also, your doormat baseball skills will be more easily discovered. This skill will be useful as the game progresses, so use it wisely. The best way to increase your bookworm rating is to study. Jeez, Marvin left his books lying all over the place. It's nice to have a roommate who plays baseball, but am I always going to have to clean up after him? Unbelievable. What the? What's he doing with the baseball handbook? Huh, hmm, let's have a look. When your vitality is low, odds are high you'll be injured. Rest in moderation. Well, that makes sense. Don't let the points you earn in practice pile up. Apply them. Uh -huh. To apply your practice points and build your skills, go to the boost ability screen. The boost ability screen. To review previous text messages, press the R button. Wait a second, this isn't a handbook. This is a strategy guide for a video game. Maybe there's something worth reading here. Hmm. What are you doing reading my books? Marvin, I was just making, I was just marking some points in here that I thought you should read. Uh, I forgot to ask Robbie, why aren't there any forfeitures on the team? You can only do extracurricular activities until your third year at this college. The university only allows athletic participation for the first three years. After that, they want us to concentrate on our studies. I see. So we'll only be able to play baseball for three years, Chief. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Bookworm rating has gone up. See, yeah. Basically, they just explained some stuff that I just said uh, until the first month passed. Also, you don't get to uh, do it every week. Um, not entirely sure why, but yeah, you don't get to do it every week. Which it's all right. I don't really mind too much. Alvin, you're next. What position do you want to play? Pitcher. Pitcher. We've already got Robbie and me. We don't need any more pitchers. What other positions can you play? doesn't matter, man. You name it, I can play it. It doesn't matter. Nobody's that good, Alvin. Yeah, nobody's that good. No, I just meant since I've joined the team, I've seen you guys play, and I feel it's a level I can play at too. Excuse me? Are you saying you can even handle playing catcher or short? There's only one way to find out. Let's see if you can play as good as you talk, Ricky. Since I'm a pitcher, I can tell if you're just blowing hot air. Show me what you got. Put on a mask, man. I don't want to hurt you. Ha! I'll catch anything you throw at me with my bare hands. Ow! You okay, man? Jeez, I was only warming up. Awesome! That Alvin's got an arm and a half. He's amazing. Why would he come to play for a team like ours? Because this team's got prestige, of course. Prestige? But look at him pitch. He's the one I gotta keep up with. And then one day, I'll make it to the majors. The majors? You chump. You really think you can play in the big leagues? That's right, I do. I'm playing baseball because I'm going to be a pro someday. Another rookie with delusions of grand grandeur? Do you actually believe anybody from this team is ever going to get to the majors? You guys are lacking the most important quality in a pro ball player. Talent. Hey man, are you saying I'm not pro material? Read my lips. Yes. Anybody in their right mind would pick a winning team if they want to be in the majors. Not the worst. The worst team. You don't have to be so humble. I mean, you were expected to win the championship last year. What? You rookie. The only championship team from this school was the Lady Tulips. The girls softball team. But what? I mean, I sort of got the feeling your level of play was sort of low for such a good team. Out your mouth, rookie. Wait, wait. So that's why you're here. Well, I suppose we could give the majors a shot. You tell them, Captain. What are we talking about, Robbie? Ignoring the fact that it was a huge mistake, we're pretty lucky to gain a player 
with talent like Alvin and me. This might be a turning point for the Tulips. If the scouts don't see you, you may as well kiss off any hopes of making the pros. It all starts with a scout picking you out on the field, signing you to the majors and working your way up to the majors. To the minors and working your way up to the majors. The Tulips are a permanent fixture in last place. No scout is going to notice us. That's enough, Toby. We win the regionals and make it to the championships. The scouts are bound to notice us. Hey, with me playing, you've got you guys, you guys at least got a chance. We might as well make the best out of a bad situation, right? If you're willing to do it, so am I. What? Together? What? You don't think I'm good enough? That's not it. But do you really think you have what it takes to play ball with me? You know what I mean. What? I may not be the greatest, but I've got heart. Just don't be surpri surprised if I make you look bad one day. Okay, man. Thank you. you can think of me as your rival, but you sure aren't mine. Huh. Who is then? Maybe I'll tell you one day, when I think you're good enough to know. Until then, give me your best man. Let's go. We got stuff. Alright, I think we will train one more time. I mean, not train. I think we'll study one more time. Then, got a minute? What is it? Look at the indecisive type. Me? Really? Let me tell you your fortune. Hmm. I see all. You stood at many a crossroad in your lifetime. Uh, short. You've had your regrets with each road that you chose, right? Well, yeah. Regrets like, why did I say that? Or, what if I chose the other road? Well, I do remember something like that. You may think you have the freedom of choice, but it's all controlled by destiny. Destiny? Does that mean I don't have any control over my life? Not quite. A choice in life is like playing a card from your hand. A card? That's right. You have to always bear in mind what card you want to play. Um, yeah. It's important not to be pressured to bring that card into play. You seem to be a type who can calmly choose the card you desire. You have no problems as long as you have a card to play. Uh, whatever. In any case, when you come to a crossroad in your life, make sure to select the right card. You know, I still don't know what you're talking about. The day will come when you'll understand everything I've said. Goodbye. What was that all about? Alright, so what this is basically is uh, whenever uh, a choice happens, uh, I will get. To, I will have to choose between the cards I have, which you saw earlier. I think it's this. Yeah. So, um, the one on the far left, you'll see it obviously when we get there, but the one on the far left is... A challenge which could mean anything to be honest and then the other three are no so I kind of got a bad starting pool but uh we can make it work um, 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 um. JJ I'm hungry come meet the cafeteria sure sounds great to me I didn't realize how much printout have to do <laughs> ah the cafeteria good food cheap prices and fast service at least that's what the sign says huh that sign should say, cheap, slow, and absolutely awful. Well, Chief, I guess it's safe to say it's cheap then. What will be, boys? I'll try the chili, ma'am. One order of Willy Chili come right up. Willy Chili? That's right, in honor of the Major League Legend of Legend. You mean Willy Legend? Willy actually ate here? Don't be ridiculous. You do know that Willy played ball way back in the golden age. And then, why put Willy's name on the chili? I'm his greatest fan. I need a name and rhyme with Chili. Wait a second. This got nothing to do with Willie Legend. Well, Willie's the one ball player that holds a special place in my heart. Mind if I ask why he's so special to you? My grandma used to tell me stories about him. A tremendous batter, a thrilling pitcher, and an all-around nice guy who worked to be the best. He also had this great cleft in his chin. Willie Legend was definitely a real man. Just thinking about it makes me a tingle all over. It's uh, right. If he hadn't been in an accident, he would have made an evil, an even bigger mark in baseball history. I heard he was pretty young when he passed away. Actually, I heard rumors that he survived the accident. Oh, come on. I'm serious. They say he was seen playing for a small town team in some independent league. I see. Anyway, if you're going to play baseball, you should try to be a player like Willie. Yes, ma'am. Hey, isn't this lipstick? What's it doing here? You think that lady dropped it? No way, Chief. Probably belongs to that girl sitting over there. Well, why don't you take it to her? Um, what's wrong? Well, you see, me and girls, I'm not very... They make me nervous. 
What's there to be nervous about? All I have to do is hand it to her. I can't do it. Uh, JJ, you do it. Alright, this is where the first choice you have. Uh, so, the way I like to play this, or the way I used to like to play this, I used to always want at least a yes card in my hand. And I have three no's. Uh, so I'm going to just pick no and hope I get a yes. Oh, I got another challenge. Nah, you do it. If you won't, I won't. Then leave it there. Look, Chief, why don't we both go? Excuse me, is this lipstick yours? JJ? Is that you? Becky? What are you doing here? Looking for a future, uh, looking for a future. Studying for my future, of course. Yep, yep, uh, I'll see you. Hunting for Mr. Right, huh? I don't hunt. They come to me. Uh-huh. Right. You still haven't settled on one yet. Yeah, that about sums it up. And what are you up to? I joined the baseball team, of course. Oh, so that means you still haven't given up on your dream of being a major league player one day. Yep. That's about sums it up. Cool. Friend of yours, Chief? Yeah, this is Becky. We grew up together. Howdy, ma'am. My name's Marvin. I'm Becky Fox. You guys used to date, bro. Date her. <laughs> yeah, right. We're just friends. Sometimes I think even that's too much. And why exactly do you think that? As funky as usual. Marvin, was it? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Becky likes you less. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do a training. So, as you see, we can do one of these to, to build up some type of thing. And also, you see on the top right, injury rate, seven, six, nine, eight, nine. Um, I guarantee you we're about to injure ourselves just for fucking bad luck. But uh, let's do something easy. Uh, let's do this one. So you get stuff. You don't really, like, like I said earlier, like early into it, there won't be much baseball. And so, like, at least if we do good enough, we might get to play in our first year, uh, but we won't be like playing, playing until end of the second year. Uh, anyways, you ready for midterms, Chief? Midterms? Mm, who cares about midterms? Once I get to the majors, none of that stuff will matter, right? What are you talking about, Chief? If your grades are low, you're in big trouble. What do you mean? You get kicked out of school. Kicked out? I can't get kicked out. That means I've only got one option. I got a cram. Ugh, looks like I managed to pass the exams. Thanks to you, Marvin. You were lucky it was the midterms, Chief. The finals in the second week of May are going to be brutal. Uh, yeah. I want you to think we should study for that. That's something I like to know, Chief. Well, I guess there's no point in worrying about it now. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I just hope we can make it across. What's up, JJ? Ping. Whoa. Take it easy, Marvin. JJ. Hey, Becky. I'll bring you here. Just checking out the team for any potential players. From what I've seen, I can't say I'm impressed. Are you telling me you can see everybody's face from here? Looks aren't everything, JJ. I can tell by a guy's body language and by the way he walks if he's the right guy for me. Is that so? Almost sounds like you're a pro scout or something. Really? Whoa. Hold everything. Who's that train boat? <sighs> oh, that's Alvin. What's his position? He's a pitcher. That's him. He's the one. Alvin's going to be my target this year. This year? You should teammate, right? Come on, JJ. Introduce me. Oh, no. No way, Becky. And why not? Because I know what you're like. The last thing I, I need is to have Alvin hating me for the rest of the season. Thanks for nothing. I'll just have to do this without your help. Goodbye. Oh boy, poor Alvin. He doesn't stand a chance. Becky likes me less times two. Uh, we're gonna use today to rest because uh, we have red vitality. And okay, this is rare. Sometimes when you rest, you get a full vitality. Also, that's not common. Hmm, I feel out muscular for some reason. Did I get stronger? That's a hyper recovery. Hyper recovery. Hyper recovery bonuses happen when your body is repairing the muscle tears you get from trading. Wait, hold up. Muscle tears? I don't train that hard. Muscle tears might sound like a serious thing, but they happen to everyone when they train. Really? Yeah, and when you rest, your muscles repair themselves. In other words, your muscles try to return to normal. They try to recover, right? 
Exactly. But when they repair themselves, they end up a little bigger than when they started. Oh, that's amazing. That's what we call a hyper recovery bonus. If you train during hyper recovery, you'll be able to you'll be able to more effectively increase your strength. I get it now. So what should I do? Well, give moderate rest. I should rest moderately. This is the tricky part. We don't want to rest too soon, but if you train too much, you'll be overworked and you won't reach hyper recovery. Man, you just got to get the hang of it of when to rest after what kind of training. Sounds tough. But keep in mind, hyper recovery doesn't happen with all kinds of training, especially not if you're only training skills. The most important thing is to do is to do training that will use your muscles. Hmm. You're sick of hearing about it? Huh? Oh no. Studying will help you understand a lot, including your own health and fitness. Thanks for the information, Pete. Yeah, okay, so basically, if you train a lot, uh, there's like a like a secret meter that you won't be able to see right now, but I'll show you it eventually by studying more. Uh, and if it gets to a certain point in your rest, you'll get uh, points for you like increase your stats for resting. Basically, it's pretty nice. Uh, I said it was rare because I only trained once. I'm pretty sure, and it's still activated anyway. I think I didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> Excuse me. What can I do for you? I'm here to join the team. Join the baseball team. Oh, you must mean the softball team. No, I meant the baseball team. That's nice, but we don't allow girls on the team. Are you discriminating? <laughs> are you discriminating against me? No, of course not. Becky, what are you up to now? JJ, great timing. I'm trying to join the team. This guy won't let me. You mean you want to play on the team? Sure, why not? That way I can get to know Alvin better. If getting to know Alvin is your reason for wanting to join the team, my answer is definitely no. Oh, come on. If you want me to play it, at least try me out as a scorekeeper or something. What point of no don't you understand? You're jealous. You just want to come between me and Alvin. Wait, what? Hold on a minute, Becky. You haven't even met the guy yet. I don't need to meet him. It's fate. We were meant to be. He's going to play in the Major someday. We'll be so happy together. Another Major League Dreamer. I think I've heard enough of that. What do you mean? Don't you dream of being a pro someday? From this school to the Majors? I sort of... I sort of classify, classify that as an impossible dream. Since I joined the team, I haven't seen any sign of a pro scout. You say scout? Well, if that's all it takes, I can ask my dad to come over. Your dad? Didn't I ever tell you? He's a scout for the majors. What? You're not pulling our legs, are you? Well, well. Looks like my dad's somewhere special than I thought. Becky, I just knew you were meant to join the team. That's right. I was just asking JJ if he knew anybody who could be the team's assistant manager. But why didn't you say so in the first place, boys? Listen up, guys. I want you to meet Becky, our new assistant manager. Hi, guys. Assistant manager? What's she going to be doing? Whatever you want. <laughs> Whatever you want, Alvin. I can clean out the door. The, I can clean out the locker room, do the laundry, whatever you need. Excuse me, but why do you know my name? Hey, I got a pair of box shorts that need washing. And who are you? Me? I'm Toby. I'll gladly show you how a washing machine works. Hey, what's with the attitude? What makes Alvin so special? Stop the bickering and cool down, okay? She started it. You know, who needs a girl on the team? Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Becky's father is a major league scout. Wow. That's fantastic. Talk about opportunity. Uh, awesome. Who knows? Maybe you'll all be in the major someday. All right. This is ridiculous. Becky joins the team as an assistant manager, and she likes me more. Our fortune rate has gone up. Mentality points gained. Hey Chief, you know there's a dance party tonight? Want to go check out the scene with me? The best way to become popular with the girls is act cool at these parties. Popular with the girls, eh? Eh, sure. Sure, let's go. Yeah, I didn't realize how much reading I would be doing. Marvelous. I made friends with a lot of nice girls tonight, Chief. I just know that one of them is my own, is my true one true love. The ladies' man rate has gone up. As your popularity increases and levels up, your ladies' man rating increases. The higher your ladies' man rating, the better your dates will go, and the more girls will like you. That's not all. The increase in your popular popularity will affect your reputation with scouts. 
Being popular comes in handy all the time, so be sure to work at it. Usually, the way to increase your ladies' man rating is through the date command, which we do not have right now. Alright, uh, let's look at this. I kind of want to get Bookworm to the first level before I, like, really start, uh, training. So I'm going to try to do that first. New Year begins. Welcome home. How's college life treating you? Not bad. I like being on the baseball team. It's working out? That's nice. Good luck. Thanks, Mom. Baseball. You wasted your time, boy. Thanks a lot, Dad. Study! That's the key to success. Jimmy to be a major league player doesn't pay the bills, boy. Oh well. He'll get over it. Like people get over their first love. Oh? And did you get over your first love, dear? No. You're the only one for me, honey. Tee hee. I don't know why the sun getting you know, love you, love you. Look, I'm not gonna get over it, okay? Well, a major league contract is the quickest way to big bucks. I've always wanted the easy life. Dad, being a major league ball player isn't all about money. Oh yeah? Well, if you don't want it, I'll be glad to spend it for you. I've kept my new job for a whole week now. Just bring in the cash and I'll retire anytime. Wish I could spend my day, my time daydreaming about being a ball player. Anyway, you better stop making your mind worry so much. Yeah, you first, Dad. Okay, how close are we? I think like one session, maybe two. Okay, we got it. Nice. Hmm? I get it now. I can see the light. Connecting the dots, a figure emerged. The camera understood it. Became able to study for long periods of time. Now able to see points earned in practice. Start of another semester. Come the end of February, and it's baseball time again. I can't wait. Yeah, baseball, studying, and hopefully a little romance. What's well, college without a little romance, right? Yeah, I guess so. You only need one thing to make this year a great one, Chief. Money. It sure wouldn't, it sure wouldn't hurt. That's why I took a part-time job at the school cafeteria. Huh? The school cafeteria? That's right, Chief. It's really convenient, because you can work whenever you want to. The only drawback is that the pay isn't too hot, so I'm looking for other jobs as well. Sounds like I got things worked out. I think I'll take some time out and find me a part-time job, too. Yeah, okay, now we can work. All right, it's February. The season opener The season opener is coming up, so it's time to get serious. A frat you pick, Chief. Frat? Yeah, frat. You know, a fraternity? Oh, I didn't. Mm, you better join one, Chief. The fraternities were organized by the alumni and really help with job hunting. Can they help me get into majors? Uh, sure. Definitely, Chief. That's the case I'm in. Um, to join, you have to pledge, Chief. What kind of pledge are we talking about? Well, there's the one where they make you walk around town in your underwear. There's also one where you have to suck seven spaghetti noodles through your nose. Yuck, that's gross. But if that's what it takes to make it to the majors... Hey, fellas. You guys joined the baseball team, right? Mm, that's right. And who are you? I'm a frat brother at PPP. <laughs> or is that supposed to be pie? Pie, pie, pie. Pie, pie, pie. It's the greatest fraternity on campus. Nice timing. We were just talking about looking for a fraternity. Well, look no more. Join us and your future is all but guaranteed. After all, Pi 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 alumni include the President of the United States and the Chairman of Big Soft. The chairman of Big Soft. That guy's a multi-billionaire. Um, yeah. Amazing, eh? I'm joining. That sounds good, but I, but I want to be a Major League ball player. No problem there. Our alumni include every major league player no way i guess that means you'll be joining too right jj uh, yeah i guess so now that that's decided it's time for initiation uh, i was hoping you would skip over that are you kidding you're gonna be a pie 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 brother and reap all of its benefits the initiation ceremony is your first step okay what do we have to do let's see okay listen up first you have to sneak into the girls dorm what once you're in there find a trophy and bring it back Got it? It's trophy? What kind of trophy? That's for you to figure out, Pledges. Just remember, it's gotta be something special. Isn't that, you know, stealing? Absolutely not. It's just a test. We wanna see if you're worthy of joining our ranks. Whatever you take is returned to the victim. I don't know. It all sounds kinda fishy to me. Come on, Pledges. If you wanna join, get going. Uh. We'll use a challenge. I'll show you what challenge is. Challenge can be either either like a yes or no. It just really doesn't. It just really depends. No way. 
I'm not going to steal my way to the majors. Have it your way. You don't know what you're missing. Bye. There goes your chance to join Pi Pi Pi. You think I was wrong? No, Chief, you did the right thing. I'm impressed. So, in that situation, Challenge didn't do anything at all. Besides just saying no. It was basically just a no. Uh, but yeah, Challenge could be like just anything really. But I think with that being said, I'm going to call it right there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This support is greatly appreciated. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. I probably will do more. This game was kind of short. Like, we're already halfway through the first year. So, I think... Uh, I guess it really depends. But, like, this will be less than a 10-part series. I'm probably going to do it no matter what. But at the same time, it all depends. But, anyways, I hope you guys have a beautiful day, afternoon, evening, night. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Mm,